So we have a few new knives to check out for the week and we're gonna start it off with the knife from the thumbnail, the best OTF that I have experienced. Now, let me just explain that yes, the G&G Hawk Deadlock is the best OTF of all time. I'm not comparing it to that one. You know, th that is definitely an OTF on another level. I'm comparing it to all the other OTFs. And in my opinion, this is one of the best OTFs, if not the best OTF I have experienced. This is the the EMP EDC Pulse. Now, why do I say that? Why do I make such a huge statement? Well, if you know the G&G Hawk Deadlock, the reason why it's the best OTF is because it's rock solid. It's literally rock solid. Like it's the only OTF on the planet that's double action that doesn't have any play. This has very, very little play. Um, it has far less play than any other OTF I've experienced, except for one. One o double action OTF, you know, besides the G&G Hawk Deadlock, um, and that was the Tecto Hummer. The Tecto Hummer was very solid like this one as well. There's a, a little bit of wiggle, but it's so minor. Like, it, it's probably half as much as like what you get from, from all other OTFs. So very solid and I appreciate that, I like that. Now, as far as the action over time, I don't think it'll be an issue. I know some people try to say if they're too tight, they, you know, they, they, they'll, you know, they can mess up over time or whatever. My Tecto Humvee worked great. I mean, I had no issues with that. I, I tested it, I, um, I, did, I even tested it against a ballistic skull. That thing was full of all kinds of crap. Anyways. This one has a magnet cut blade between 62 and 64 HRC with a hollow grind. Hollow ground sheep's foot blade. It does come in a couple different finishes. The handle is aluminum with a titanium milled clip and a titanium switch or trigger. Now, I like the milling pattern, how it translates, you know, or transfers over from, you know, the handle to the clip, you know, it blends in really nicely. I do like that. There is Timascus clips and uh, yeah, I, I man, this thing is so solid. It feels very solid. The break from the switch is so clean. It's such a crispy, clean break. It's hard to explain that until, you know, like when you've handled a lot of OTFs, you really start getting the feeling of what a clean breaking OTF is. I have felt a lot of them that when you, when you like basically like when you push it, right? When it deploys right there, you'll feel a little bit of a vibration down the handle, right? That to me isn't clean. This one, you know, you, you feel the recoil, but that's it. You know, other than that, you don't, you're not feeling vibrations through the handle. You're not feeling like springs and stuff, the ting, you know, and you can hear it too in many cases from some of them. Now, the, the switch has very good traction. Love the traction, nice and grippy, and the tension from the spring is not too powerful, but it's nice and strong. I can use my pointer finger to do it, but it is, it's really good. Like I, I say that this is probably the perfect amount of tension um, and, and such a clean braking action. The ergonomics, OTFs are usually pretty ergonomic, usually, because they're very neutral. Now this one's not a big ass knife, it's not huge, but it's a full size knife and you can get a full four finger grip, even with room. So you can choke up, you know, if you're gonna cut some straps, you can definitely do that. Utility cuts are obviously gonna be phenomenal. The blade stock thickness, mine measured at 124 thousandths. It was probably originally 130 thousandths, you know, before the blade finishing. The thinness behind the edge was 14 thousandths behind the edge with their edge angle. So with my edge angle, it'll probably be like 15 thousandths. Um, so good geometry. It is a shallow hollow, but it does get down to a really nice thinness. And then the tip is gonna have some nice durability while also being acute enough. And, you know, because the tip is so much low or so low compared to the handle, you're gonna have tons of of leverage through a utility cut. Now, a couple more things I really like. I love that it's TA hardware all the way around. Gotta love that. I do love that it has titanium accents. I kind of wish, not, not that I wish, I, I hope in the future he comes up with a full titanium one. Boy, oh boy, that would be awesome. I'd also love to see him do one like with a spear point or something, that'd be dope. Anyways, um, regardless though, this exact one right here, just the way it is, um, shockingly good. Like I, I got to try this at Blade Show and I forgot just how awesome it was till I got it back in the hand again. And it's like, oh man, I, yeah, this thing is so good. Now I do have a couple little nitpicks or one major nitpick. 
It's not the plunge grind. Um, normally I would bitch about almost every single plunge grind in sharpening toil on an OTF. This one's not bad. The plunge grind starts here, but it ends about right there. So you actually have some sharpening off, which, hey man, th that's all I ask for with an OTF because I understand with an OTF, it's not gonna have, you're not gonna have like a Sabenza's, you know, plunge grind. I get it. So this is perfectly acceptable to me. This is exactly what I want. Um, and it's not going to affect anything, you know. It doesn't make it to where there's going to be caught on anything. You have tons of edge, you know, right there for, for long cuts. You know, you're, it's a nice straight edge, too, so you're not going to slip out of the cut. Now, the nitpick I do have is the clip. Now, it's not bad. So this, and remember, guys, listen, I am... I'm being very, very picky right now because I can't come up with anything. So I'm just being honest. This is completely not a negative. <laughs> the clip is a little tight. And I mean ever so slightly. Yes, I can still lift it up. Um, but I wish, because it is on this traction right here, now it's not bad. It's not going to tear your pockets, nothing like that. It does hold on nice and tightly. Uh, but I just wish it was just a tiny bit smoother going over the seam of the pocket. Is it bad? No, no, it, but it, it could be great. That, that's it. You know, it's not bad, um, but it's also not great. So it's like right there in the medium. And you know, that's one little tiny thing I could find, you know, um, I did notice this. If you look at the, you can see the tip right there. Hopefully you guys can see that. And there's like a little tiny, it's probably not gonna come over the camera. There's almost like a little divot right where the edge goes. I'm wondering if there's a line down the scale on the inside for the edge. It's not poking out or anything, just so you know, like you can't feel that at all. Anyways. Such an awesome knife. I freaking dig it. I love this thing. And I love that he's using magnet cut, by the way. I love that he got magnet cut. Yes, these are made overseas. I wanna make that clear. These are made overseas. Um, I know a lot of people because before magnet cut wasn't able to get overseas that you know only the USA had it. So uh, this is made overseas, uh, but that's also why the price is so good considering what you're getting. So the next one is quite a bit bigger than the last one. This is a tack ray. I gotta see the measurement on this. This thing. Five and a half inch blade over 12 inches overall. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, that's a big one. You can just see it. Now, this is like a folding kitchen knife. It is a, um, it is on, I think it's a liner. Yeah, so it has a liner. So it's like a compression lock on a button in a way. Similar, it's not exactly the same. I do notice like it, ha it has like a, a disc hook to the almost kind of like the the button lock elementum in a way anyways the action you know nice detent let me see uh, it's a big blade so the thumb flick is probably the best the reverse flick you can do it but i find myself touching that button when i do it because i have to reach up so you can get yeah it's tough without putting your finger right there uh, for me personally, but it's still, man, it, it's really easy to, to open up and you know, it, it, man, it's got a beautiful blade shape. I love this blade shape. This is a very, very useful blade shape, you know, like, and if you were going to, not that you would use this for regular EDC, but if you wanted to, man, man, this thing would get some cutting done. The geometry is so thin. Look at this blade. This thing is super duper slim. We have 96 thousandths blade stock thickness, 79 thousandths there, 82 thousandths. So between like 75 thousandths and you know like 89 thousandths, whatever the heck it was, 96 thousandths. Very thin, that's the point. Very, very thin geometry, especially for this big of a blade. You don't normally see knives this thin, uh, about 12, 13 thousandths behind the edge, 13.5. So, and then with that taper, think about that. Going from 80, 90 thousandths down to 13, 14 thousandths, talk about geometry. Boy, oh boy, is this a mega slicer. Um, pretty solid lockup. Yeah, 
solid lockup. The handle is so long, man. I feel like I want to chop with it, but I know the blade is too slicey for that. I mean, if you were going to cut branches and stuff, or so, sorry, small twigs, you know, you could probably do it, but, but you're not going to want to hit any real dense hardwood with it. It's just, it's so slim, you know, it, it's, you know, more of a laser beam for like cutting fruits and vegetables, meat, things like that. However, if you're on a, a you're going on a camping trip, hunting trip, something like that, this is pretty damn dope. VG10 steel, so it has actually a chef knife steel that is a Japanese steel. Fantastic steel for, um, you know, chef knives. Sharp and Joel plunger iron could be a little bit better. I don't know why. They had all this room. Why did they do this? Now, it's not a big deal because of the type of knife it is, so I want to make this clear. This doesn't really matter, but they started the plunger iron here. They ended it right here, right next to the edge. You're only going to get about two, three, two sharpenings in before you start hitting a smile, maybe three. So they had all the room in the world to not do that. So, you know, that, that's definitely a negative. The clip is a deep carry clip that's inset with flat screws. Just a basic, simple clip. You know, it should work just fine. A little small for how big the knife is, but I think it'll be just fine. Um, you do have, oh yeah, by the way, this one's orange, but it does come in different colors. So this is just the orange one. I think it comes in black, uh, maybe some other colors as well. Perfectly centered too. Um, but yeah, man, super solid. It, it feels, you know, for what it is, you know, because a lot of people are, ooh, so big a lot of people would look at this and you know think like well because of what it's for and because of what it's made for it's probably made to you know a, a little bit cheap no this thing's made actually pretty well um i would say that this could be a phenomenal tool in the kitchen camping trips things like that I do have one more I want to check out really quick. This is also a tack ray. Um, however, I have already featured this one on the channel. It just, I had the one with the Altum scales, not the Black G10. Personally, I like this one more. Um, it has 440C steel, and it is a dagger blade shape. Single edge, it's not double edge, but very pokey. And then it has the wings right there to stop you from slipping up. Um, it is only a liner lock, so, you know, I don't know if I'd want to really uh, stab it into too many things. Good action though. Fantastic detent. It also has the wave feature. So if you were going to use it as a self-defense knife, you could. Um, this feels like a great throwing knife as well. Uh, just, you know, because of the handle, the taper and everything. You know, I personally feel like I, I could throw the heck out of this thing. I'm going to try to throw this into this pillow. Bang. Hoo -hoo. Yeah, I think throws pretty good. Not too shabby. Do a slash. Yeah, not too bad. Um, you know, it did come pretty sharp, fairly sharp. I can thumb flick the wave feature too, by the way. Detent, yeah, really good detent. It is very narrow in the hand, you know, which, you know, it's long enough to where it's kind of fit anybody's hand size, uh, but it is a little slim, but that, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just, you know, calling it out. Uh, the geometry, you know, it's not the sliciest. It's more for poking than anything, uh, but you could absolutely cut with it, you know, not a problem. Um, nice and smooth on the drop, but it better be with this heavy of a blade, right? Not that it's super heavy, but you know, it, it's relatively uh, thick, you know. So, you know, and it's a long blade. Let's just look at the blade length and then we'll get to the next one. This is a pretty long knife too. Four and a quarter, nine, almost nine and a half altogether. This is a big knife. This is not a small knife. Good access to the lock bar. Um, if I was going to nitpick things, you know, I could nitpick the plunge grind sharpening choil. That is a horrible plunge grind sharpening choil. Um, they should definitely fix that. The liners, you know, being the type of knife it is, I kind of wish it had a little bit of a stronger locking system or maybe, I don't know, even some sort of backup. I don't know. You know, just, just, I don't think it, I think it'd be fine, but you know, the chances of a liner slipping, you know, it's not rare, you know, like it can happen. So, um, other than that, you know, the steel 440C, I don't mind 440C, basically a 9CR. I like 440C. 440C is a fantastic steel. And, you know, it's really easy to sharpen on the field, very easy to maintain, good stainless. Um, but yeah, it's not really my style personally. Um, but, you know, I know a lot of people really like these daggers and I like daggers too. You know, I just, I like specific ones and, you know, this one just doesn't speak to me, but hey, if it speaks to you, it's, it's pretty well done.
Now the next one, I actually featured the titanium version of this on the channel already, and I had a huge complaint. Then I said it was a complete deal breaker. Don't buy it. And that was the titanium mill pocket clip would not go in the pocket at all. Like it just would not go in the pocket. It was a, like hitting a wall. Now they have fixed it. So I don't know if you have to just buy a separate clip or if they come with the clip because I requested the clip, you know, and I thought they were just going to send me the clip for my titanium one and they just sent me this knife. So, you know, maybe when you buy them now, you know, they're going to come with the good clip. They did have it previously where if you bought it, you just paid, it, paid an extra dollar and, and you got the new clip. So you just had to switch it yourself. Um, so I'm guessing now they just come with it. But really good action. This is a cool one. And that was the thing was it was a knife I wanted to dig. I wanted to talk about it. I thought it was really cool, especially the frame lock version. This one's the liner lock version. So this one's going to be a little bit more affordable. M390 steel, titanium clip, titanium backspacer, um, steel liners, good traction on the lock bar. Not the best access but, but you know, it's fine. There, there's plenty of traction there. The detent sounds good or feels good and the sound sounds good. Somewhat of a compact knife but you can get a nice grip back here even though, you know, it's kind of a small handle. You know, you can kind of, you know, get a, it's thick so you can get a comfortable grip but you can also choke up a little bit, spread it out. Um, somewhat of a, a robust grind in a way, but still plenty slicey. So yeah, very cool. I'm, I'm super happy that they, they listened when I, you know, was complaining about the clip because I contacted them right away, right after my video, um, because it was just treacherous, tr absolutely treacherous. So I'm glad that they, they fixed that, you know, pretty quickly. So that's awesome. Um, complaints, if I was going to come up with some negatives, um, one negative, you know, the lock bar access could be a little bit better. They cut all this back. Why not just make this side a little bit more proud? Now it's fine because there's traction, so it's pretty easy to get to, but you know, it's just a thing. It'd be nice if there, you know, if it was just a little bit hanging out right there. Um, the next thing is the plunge grind sharpening choil, of course, that is horrible. That's the worst kind of plunge grind and sharpening choil because it's, it starts here and it stops at the edge. So when you sharpen, this thing's guaranteed to get a smile, guaranteed. So you'd have to cut in your own. Now that is one good thing is you could cut in your own finger choil, sharpening choil, sharpening notch. You could sharpen it up and whatever damages you do, you could clean up with a Dremel. So th that's a benefit, but I, you know, I'd prefer it to just be good right off the bat. Um, other than that, man, um, the, the steel, you know, the M390, they are running it a bit soft. So, so that would be my, you know, my, my last real negative. Um, other than that though, you know, the, um, T8 hardware all the way around, I think it has a titanium pivot collar and you know, it, it they do make solid knives. I'll tell you what, man, um, Max Ace does a really good job. I, I personally love their work. I love the, how extreme they go and, and how crazy they get. And, you know, it's just, man, they're not scared to make crazy. And I love that. This is not crazy, but that's also what makes it cool because they do a little bit of both, which, you know, that's the community for you, right? You know, as a, <laughs> most, most of us in the community, we like a little bit of everything. Some of us don't. Some of us stick, you know, to, to the simple, easy, you know, the stuff that's not not too crazy, but most of us, most of us like a little taste of everything. So there you guys go. Work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.